Hi everyone and welcome back to Pause for Self-Care. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling my usual positive self. So, you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, I just haven't felt like recording. Um, in this video I'll explain a little bit about what's been going on around us. And my favorite product for the last two months, really, that I've really enjoyed. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's get to it and see what happens. <laughs> basically living in your cupboard um, you won't know what's been happening in our country um, yeah where we are in KZN we've we've had a rough two weeks and mentally it's just been rough like very rough so many people were affected. Over 400 people actually passed away. Um, people in our suburb passed away. So it's really, really close to home. And one of the ladies I chat to on Twitter, she actually posted that I've just experienced a trauma and I've got no closure and I can't get over it because literally it's just still happening it's not finished and that's how it is really um, up until till this morning um, body recoveries are still happening so it's constant constant trauma and for those already struggling with mental health and anxiety it's just not easy and for you I'd just like to say reach out speak about it I have a little motivational group and this morning one of the ladies in the group sent a little meme you know a friend sent her a meme and she decided it was something that resonated with her and she just passed it on to us and already one of the members of the whatsapp group turned around and said you know what i was having a real wobbly today and the wheels were falling off and your meme came up and it really really helped so yeah check in <coughs> there's a meme going around at the moment really doing the rounds that i might not be the friend who checks in but i still care and you know what sometimes it's really important to be that friend who checks in you don't need to check in every day you don't need to check in every month but check in every now and again and check in when you know it's important just check in send a meme that little meme can strike a conversation that is very very needed and helps somebody that little meme might just resonate with that person and might help them just by reading it checking in and saying hi just thinking of you that's all you need to do it really doesn't take much time so yeah 
when you post that meme that says yeah I'm not really the friend that checks in but you're still important to me sometimes it's important to hear it one other thing that I'd just like to mention here especially with regards to mental health a certain company I won't mention names is now doing a live and in their live they're going to be playing emergency calls of people in our neighborhood and you know this is where reality series just makes people want the wrong things do you really want to hear somebody in their worst moments of their life do you think they want that message replayed over and over do you think they want to remember that trauma over and over and be reminded of it sorry that was destiny jumping on and saying hi um you you don't want to be reminded of that trauma you want to try and heal from that trauma and to be using it to promote your company to me it's just wrong on so many levels <laughs> Every time I see the advert come up in my socials, I feel physically ill. Knowing how that program is going to affect those people who experienced their houses being washed away and calling an emergency room and now having their horror, their trauma played over again and again. I know that in the long run, yeah, wow, this is reality, isn't it? It's going to cause more mental health issues for people listening to this. Somebody in a household might want to watch. They might be fine with it. Somebody might not want to watch. They end up listening to this live and really really struggling from it it's not light-hearted it's not um, CSI it's not Grey's Anatomy this is real life these are not actors and a series can can work on your mental health so how is real life going to play out here it's just wrong on, on way too many levels. So, yeah, just like you to think about it. And, yeah, whether you actually want to support something like that, because me personally, I don't feel that it's right to support something like that. I really hope those people were asked to share their trauma. And for heaven's sake, you know, when you volunteer, it's like, let's go to celebrities, for instance. Celebrate some celebrities, not all of them, they'll have the cameras follow them while they're doing a good deed. Because, mm, look, I did a good deed. I'm so wonderful. No, you actually aren't that wonderful. Because you're doing it to boost your yourself. You're not doing it out of compassion. Those celebrities that you hear maybe 10 years down the line. You know what? They actually did this and nobody really knew. They never publicized it. That is doing something with compassion. You don't need to advertise everything that you are doing and your little group of jummies is doing 
it doesn't make you any better and the specific group of jummies that I'm thinking of they aren't very nice people they say some horrible things about people and now after this they're quickly stepping out and doing something like when I was in court last year and um, <laughs> getting a protection order and this little idiot turns around and says to the judge oh I was busy it was shortly after the, the unrest in KZN and I was out protecting my neighborhood but did he tell you why he decided to go out and protect the neighborhood so he could be out during that time to go and do his drug deals go figure go figure volunteer do things be kind to people help people you don't need to advertise it it doesn't make you a better person by advertising it makes you a good person for having compassion and being out there and don't for heaven's sake point a finger and turn around to say say to somebody that you don't know from a bar of soap what are you doing the mirror reflects turn that finger and point it in the mirror what are you doing well enough of that i will add some clips of our neighborhood and just what has been going on really um, around us so yeah you can really see and just know that if you've experienced this I'm, I'm with you in thoughts and honestly if you need anything just remember to reach out if you need a counselor you you need to speak to somebody you just need somebody to listen to you drop a message and really if you feel you need counseling I can forward your name to a counselor reach out we're all feeling some kind of way after the last few weeks and it's okay to reach out it's okay to be feeling like this having all these emotions we have to grieve this and go through all those emotions and get through it so give yourself time and be kind to yourself anyway on to my favorite product please excuse all the bouncing my gosh heaven destiny has jumped on the bed again wow she's huge anyways I bought myself one of these it is not a Lani one it's only a safe way um, dryer and I can say that I'm absolutely absolutely impressed with it um, one of my friends got the Revlon one um, if I'm not mistaken um, Leah lifestyle vlogs I will link that video in below so you can pop over and have a look um, she gave a follow-up review on her um, brush dryer and she said literally she doesn't use any of her other heat tools anymore the only one she uses and yeah um, I then saw one um, basically it looks like the same item but um, it's an overseas um, channel that I love called Glam Girl Gabby and she speaks about a lot of fine thin hair techniques and products to use um, so if you're struggling with fine hair head over to her channel um, she really gives some great tips and yeah this one is Safeway it's the Clicks brand and 
my hair feels thicker and it's just I don't know it's just been different to any other item I've ever bought um, this was about 300 Rand um, I'm actually not sure if it was a special but I'll, I'll look up the price and I'll put it on for you and here it is and strangely enough it is on a further sale um, you can save 20% on the dryer and it is 319 Rand a really really great buy it's fantastic honestly this is the item to have um yeah and that's that a really quick review and a review of life <laughs> and as usual i'll end off just by saying remember how valuable you are and remember that you deserve to pause for self-care